Well, as Rob just mentioned, those temperatures will fall below freezing tonight, which means an code blue extreme alert has been issued for Albany County. The code blue program is meant to help people who are homeless find shelter during those cold winter months. Anyone in need of housing assistance in Albany can go to the Capital City Rescue Mission, the Emergency Overflow Shelter on State Street, or the IPH Safe Haven. News 10's Anthony Krolikowski visiting one of those shelters today, and he shares the preparation ahead of tonight's dip below freezing temps. As temperatures drop, cold blue shelters are popping up, opening their doors to those in need. Albany Capital City Rescue Mission Chief of Staff David Poach assures News 10 they are prepared to help the homeless. We are getting ready for code blue tonight um, and we are, have already have like 140 guys already registered for tonight. In the United States, nobody should freeze outside, nobody should go hungry, there's a lot of services. The shelter stands for more than just a place to stay. Poach says the recovery rate is usually around 8%, but if 30-day stays are upgraded to a year or longer, that shoots up to 75%. We have a career development and learning center that's open not only for our guests that come and stay with us, but it's open for the community. They can move into our transitional apartment program. They get a job and they're living here for one to three years. Over in Schenectady, I met with Mayor Gary McCarthy during today's Hanukkah festival. The mayor was able to give us some insight on how his city aids the homeless. We have a robust network of uh, providers. Uh, so they start with the police department, fire department doing referrals. We work with the city mission with Bethesda House, uh, Salvation Army to uh, provide opportunities. We run that at one level or another seven days a week, 365 days a year. So it's not just on some of those days where the temperature drops. Cities in the capital region are readily equipped to help out during times of need, thanks to community support. Be sure to reach out to your local shelters with donations or consider volunteering to ensure these vital services can continue to run smoothly. Reporting in the Capital Region, Anthony Krolikowski, News 10, ABC.